Hey, six now impeachment day two. It was a woe is me sob fest compliments of a charter member of the State Department swamp. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, well, we know a hell of a lot about the lives and times of, uh, of a former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. We don't know a heck of a lot about how this pertains to high crimes and misdemeanors, bribery and or treason. Well, Graham, it doesn't. I felt this morning when I watched, I think about three or four hours of it, that I was watching uh, a former employee complaining to her HR director exactly. that she didn't think she was dismissed properly. And under questioning over and over again, beginning with her own statement, the ambassador, I should say former ambassador, made it very clear, not only does the president have the universal right, all presidents, to fire any ambassador for any reason whatsoever, like, I don't like your suit, I don't like your dress, your hair color annoys me, or no reason whatsoever. She agreed under questioning that that rule should not be changed. She was just upset that she got fired and she didn't like not getting a lot of notice. It happens every week in the Foreign Service. She signed up for it, she knew the rules, and that's the way the game is played. So now we've had three star witnesses. Not one knows the president, not one talked to the president, not one overheard a conversation of the president to any third party in Ukraine that would have anything to do with impeachment. However, I feel very strongly that her hurt feelings should be made better today by the Democrats who sympathized with the way she was replaced. And, and compare it to other impeachments, right? Barry, this is a very narrow window that Democrats are going after based on a phone call. And they're trying to expand it to abuse of power, which is with a rather vague. And they're trying to focus in on bribery, which is very specific. What we have so far is Russian collusion. Oh, not anymore. Yep. Obstruction of justice on Russia. Oh, not anymore. Then we had the Ukrainian flip-flop, and that's now on its third charge. As they bring them up, they go away. Quid pro quo fell apart. Why? The president of the Ukraine and the foreign minister of the Ukraine have both had very long press conferences where they have stated literally over and over again, the president of the United States did not ask for anything in regards to something for him, the United States, the government, his party, anything. Right in any of the phone calls. Right. And, and as far as now, Marie... those are the people that were involved in the crime. And as far as Marie Yovanovitch <laughs> is, is concerned, she overstayed her welcome by about a year. She's lucky she kept her job for a year and a half. She should have been getting a pink slip but on day one of the Trump administration. So she lasted a year and a half longer than she should have. And she's still, per her testimony, still employed in the State Department, which is evidence of the swamp. Here's the swamp rising up to try and take out the 45th president of the United States. I'm sorry, but it's true. Barry, thank you.